Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sir Dick Pullish Pearls of Wisdom production studio where he's going to give us some tips on we've already seen how to freeze a pipe for a pound that's brilliant it works it's super but now he's telling us that you can glue copper together and it'll take water pressure with a, a, an everyday well it's not everyday but it, it's a it's an item you can buy from your local stock your local stores and it's a fiber and that fiber will do you many uh, joints but like I said to his, to his other uh, pearl of wisdom, it's no good telling me the moon is made of cream cheese. You've got to prove it. So let's have a see. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Get two pieces of copper and a copper elbow. And we're going to clean the copper with sandpaper to, to rough up the surface of the copper. Now I'm not going to do it on the elbow. Because all this is experiments, this is not something you'll read in a book, this is not something they'll tell you at the college. This is something that we're getting from Sir Dick Puller's experiences in life. Right, now here's the, here's the magical dust. I want to spread that on there. And I'll put it right near the end because when you put the when you put the other one that'll that'll shift it about. Okay, I'll get some on the other side now. Now you're supposed to use uh, gloves and stuff with this. Uh, if you get a tube, there's all sorts of you know, usuals, don't get it in your eye, your word, loves, don't get it in your skin, don't drink it, etc, etc, etc. And that's what I would do too if I was you, because you'd be surprised how quick this grabs hold of that elbow. In fact, that one though, I can just move it, I can feel it tightening up. Right, we're going to leave that now. We're going to leave that for 15 minutes. So we'll come back again in 15 minutes. Hello, people. We'll just have a brew while that sets. It takes about 15 minutes. Well, I don't know how long it takes. But we've tried and tested at 15 minutes and it's been okay. So we're giving that 15 minutes. I'll have to change the, the camera as well. That's, the battery's gone flat in the, in the best camera. They'll more laugh in a, in, a, in a tramp's vest. You just go dead for no reason. Like it doesn't, it doesn't give you an indication quarter like a fuel tank thing. It just goes push up. So this is me a little camera. So if it's not a good quality, tough. Anyway, uh, while it's while it's still time to set, I'm just telling you that this um, this method of, of joining pipes is not going to take over soldering. Don't go and throw your soldering irons away. This is just you know, I wouldn't use this under floors or in people's houses because it's, um, you know, it, it's not what it's meant to be. The stuff that we're using, which I'll, I'll tell you what the stuff is that we're using, you need to come over to my site, tomplum.boz.net, and I'll tell you over there. Because you don't know who's looking in, you know. Double not spies and all them men. You don't want them knowing, do they? So. Oh, what was I saying? This never take over from uh, from solder, because solder, in my opinion, well, in most people's opinion, most plumbers' opinion, is the best way of joining pipes is soldering pipes. You know that uh, if you've soldered them and they're tested them, they're working, then you don't need to worry about them anymore. You can just go and die and they'll still be there. But plastic, I still have my reservations about plastic. I use it a lot more now, but. Yeah, I, I, I was a bit nervous when I left the job with push fit fittings. Um, I lose sleep. So, let's go and give it a test, shall we? Okay, so now we have the joint under pressure. Uh, 
I'll just turn that on so you know it is under pressure. So there we have it. Right. Okay, so there you have it. Another plumber's pearl of wisdom brought to you from Tom Plum here in Wigan. So it's good night from me and it's good night from Dick. We'll see you all again for another plumber's pearl of wisdom. We don't know what it's going to be. He hasn't thought of it yet, but he will do.